What's going on everybody, Jason here. Uh, exciting video, just picked up brand new Aquatop CF300 canister filter. And you guys are probably being like, why did you buy this? Well, because I, I already have two filters on my tank right now, the BioWheel 350s. They are working great. Uh, they're a little noisy and um, my mechanical filtration that I have right now where the, the filter floss is inside the take, tank on the intake, great. Uh, they, it gets dirty really fast, and it's and they're kind of ugly, honestly. And who doesn't like to buy new stuff, new fish uh, supplies? I mean, uh, this looks pretty identical as my the Sun Sun I used to have. It's probably the same filter. It's just a different brand name. Uh, it says right here comes with media. I'm gonna be using the already cycled media I have anyway, but we'll see what this has. Um, and uh, yeah, I just brought this home, haven't even opened it. Uh, so try to, try to do an in-depth review for you guys. Uh, this is rated at, uh, well, I'll show you that in a minute. Let's open her up. Whenever you have purchased new fish toys and you're gonna do a video, it's very important that you have something to drink. All right, let's open this up. What was this rated at? Uh, I believe this was 264, there it is, 264 gallons per hour, suitable up to a 75 gallon aquarium, three stage filtration, CF300, penetrable. Looks like the box of accessories, and there's the filter. This is actually not much smaller than the one I used to have, the Sun Sun, but it is smaller, probably half the size. But that's fine. I don't. I need it to fit inside the stand of my 46 gallon. That looks like the. Uh, Siphon pump right there to get it started. Yeah, no, uh, there is no UV sterilizer light bulb, which is, I am perfectly happy with. You do not need that. Okay, so if we look down in there, looks like we got our top tray, which is just to hold everything in. Um, wow, that's all the biomedia they give you right there. That is uh, nowhere near enough. They did, however, give you what that goes to. They did, however, give you enough mechanical filtration, which I will say a good thing about that. Looks like you got your course and fine pads, which I will use these, and I'm also gonna add some more of your regular filter floss that I have. And it looks like I've got, looks like they gave you a bag of carbon. Um, I probably won't use that. I mean, this, this, this is pretty much all the biomedia they give you right there, which that's kind of a joke. Uh, that's nowhere near close to the amount that you need for this. So it looks like you've got about three of these pads. I would call these the fine pads and one coarse pad. These are good. That's awesome. I'm happy about that. These are pretty stupid. Uh, I mean, that's not even near enough. So it looks like we got three trays. We got three trays and our mechanical filtration. And then so one whole tray I'm gonna fill up with mechanical and then two will be completely filled up with um, biological media. All right, let's put some of this back together here. I could probably actually use all of these just the way it is. All four of these will fit nicely in here. Just like that, and that's all mechan or, uh, yeah, mechanical filtration. 
All right, I'm gonna use this just like this. I got all four pads in there. I got the blue, the coarse on the bottom, because the water is gonna come up. It will go down those tubes and then come back up, so I'm gonna use all of that. And then both these trays will be filled with biomedia, which I am not gonna do right now. All right, we're gonna set that aside, and let's see what accessories we have here. Read the instructions. Got some aqua top instructions here. Um, we'll go over that in a minute. Got your hoses, the nice green ones. Uh, these almost are pretty much the same as I had with the Sun Sun again. Nice hoses. This is where your hoses connect to the canister filter itself. And it looks like we got our intake and return. So there's your uh, return with the spray bar. I'll have to set that up and this looks like your intake. Okay, I've hooked up the return. This is the, your spray bar. Uh, you don't have to use a spray bar. I think I will. I'll try it both ways, see what happens. Uh, your pipe's gonna come up here and this will suction cup to the back of your glass. With suction cups and that'll be your spray bar. Uh, here's the intake right here. There's a surface skimmer option right there. Um, I'm not sure how this is actually supposed to work. I guess this is, might need to be at the level of your water. I don't think that's really gonna matter. Uh, probably won't even use that. But there's your intake. Great. Uh, pretty cheap, flimsy plastic parts, just like the Sun Sun, but I mean, I mean, they're hanging, they're, most of it's in your tank and it's hanging over the side. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, for the input-output valve, you just stick it on there, push down the locking mechanism, and you're good to go. That's it. And to put these hoses on, what I learned last time is you definitely want to heat these up in hot water, and then you will be able to slide them over these and screw them and lock them in. Uh, if you just try to put these, push them on when they're cold, it's extremely uh, difficult to do. If anybody's interested in the instructions, they're pretty self-explanatory and there's not really a whole lot to them. Um, I would not consider these in-depth instructions, nor would I say they're bad. There's not too many, there is instructions on it, so you should be, if, if, even if this is your first time ever using the one, you should be able to figure this out pretty easily. Um, definitely has an exploded diagram of everything the name of everything. There is a troubleshooting guide here in the back if you're new to these type of filters. And uh, and here's your specs on it. So we got the CF300, 18 watts, 264 gallons an hour, three filter compartments. So in case you guys are wondering, uh, I spent a hundred bucks on this, almost exactly. I bought it and I'm pretty sure you could find something like this for cheaper, but I want to support my local fish store and because I bought this, they gave me four fish for free. So you can't beat that. Um, I got these all set up right here, the spray bar, the intake. Um, definitely not a bad deal for three trays. Um, I I'm happy with it. Uh, this actually looks pretty small. Hopefully this, maybe I should have got a bigger one, but this thing is probably going to shoot out a whole lot of water. The amount of biomedia they give you that they give you with this is kind of a joke. I mean, this is absolutely just stupid. That, pff, I don't know what they're thinking. So, if you buy one of these, you are going to have to get your own biological media. I mean, even the carbon bag they gave you one, that's great, but it's so freaking tiny. It'll help. Um, so, rest assured, you will have your mechanical filtration with this, but you are going to have to find your own biological. All right, guys, this is part one of the purchasing and unboxing of the Aquatop CF300 canister filter. Next video, we'll be setting it up to the aquarium and actually running it. And uh, I don't know when I'll do that, maybe tonight or tomorrow. I will try to get that done as soon as possible. All right, guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section and stay tuned for part two. Thanks for watching, guys.